Setting up Smart Shooter 5 in Lightroom. Step 1 Setting up your folders. Create a new folder anywhere you normally organize your images and call it Test Job. Remember where it is, we'll need it later. Open the new Test Job folder and create three more folders Smart Shooter Temp, Capture, and Output. Open the Output folder and create one additional folder titled Headshot Tools. Your folder structure should now look like this. Step 2 Configuring your session. Open Smart Shooter 5 and navigate to your Session tab here. If you don't see a Session tab, click View and check Session. Now click the Options drop down and ensure that the Unique Tag checkbox is checked. Step 3 Setting up your temporary Smart Shooter Capture folder. On a Mac, click Smart Shooter 5, then Preferences. In Windows, click File, then Options. In the General tab, under Photo Download Directory, choose the Test Job Smart Shooter Temp folder from earlier. Step 4 Creating your Smart Shooter Naming Policy. Switch to the Name Policy tab and clear out the File Name Expression text box. Now enter the following tokens exactly as you see here U in square brackets, followed by S4 in square brackets. Step 5 Installing the Lightroom plugin. Switch to the Lightroom tab, click Install Plugin, and make sure that Enable Lightroom Tethering Connection and Allow Lightroom Plugin to Shut Down Application are checked. Then click OK and leave Smart Shooter running. If Lightroom is open, you'll need to restart it to activate the plugin. Setting up Lightroom Classic Step 1. Create a catalog. Open Lightroom and create a new catalog by clicking File, then New Catalog. Select your Test Job folder. Give your catalog a name and click Create. Step 2. A quick test. Plug your camera into your computer and turn it on. Navigate to File, Tethered Capture, Start Tethered Capture. In the Tethered Capture Settings window that pops up, name your session Test Job. Under Naming, select the File Name template. Under Destination, click Choose, and then select the Test Job Capture folder from earlier. Then click Choose again. Now click OK. The floating tether module will now appear. Snap a couple test photos to see your images pop into Smart Shooter and Lightroom. It's important that you're seeing images pop up in both programs. If this isn't happening, Lightroom may be prioritizing its own connection over Smart Shooter. You can fix this issue by clicking on the camera dropdown in the floating tether module and selecting the alternate camera option listed there. Step 3. Setting up your export settings. Navigate to File, then click Export. In the Export Location panel, set the Export To dropdown to Specific Folder, then click Choose. Select the Test Job Output Headshot Tools folder and click Choose again. Make sure that Put in Subfolder is unchecked. Under Existing Files, select Overwrite Without Warning. In the File Renaming section, make sure Rename To is not checked. In the File Settings section, set Image Format to JPEG, Quality to 80%, and Color Space to sRGB. In the Image Sizing section, check Resize to Fit. Select Long Edge and enter 2048 pixels, then set resolution to 240 pixels per inch. Under Presets, click Add and enter the name Headshot Tools, then click Create. Now click Done. You're not done yet. Now you need to watch the next video, Setting Up a Test Job. This is where you see the magic of how Headshot Tools and your tethering software work together.